In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the demo songs for Traction 5. I'm also going to show you how I like to organize the files for Traction. Now to grab the demo songs, go back into Traction.com and then go to the downloads page, just like we did for the software. But you'll see on here, we've got the demo songs. If we click here, then we can open up this section and we've got three different demo songs. You just click on each of these and download them to your system. So I already did that and I have them on my desktop here. Now I like to organize all of my traction projects onto a second hard drive called music. So I'm gonna click here on my music drive. Now if you don't have a music drive and you have just one, then you're probably gonna to wanna to put this in your documents folder. This would be the same on Windows or on Mac. I like to keep all of the files related to traction all organized into one spot because it really makes it a lot easier to find your projects when you're ready to work on them, but it also makes backing them up much, much easier. So I'm gonna go to my music drive and create a new folder. And the folder, I just call it Traction. And you have to spell it right. And then under the Traction folder, I'm gonna create another new folder here and call this Projects. And I do this because there's other things in Traction that I want to collect into this Traction's folder besides just the projects. There's preset settings, key maps, other kinds of files that are created by Traction. And I just want a place to organize them all. So now that I've got my projects folder created, I'm just going to drag the demo projects up into here. Now if you look at these, they say TRK ARC. That means they're Traction Archive Format. So it's kind of like a zip file, but we'll use Traction itself to extract those. So now that I've got basically my folder structure set up, I'm gonna go back into Traction. Now in Traction, we wanna make sure we're on the Projects tab and then do Open Project. From here, I'm gonna to navigate to the folder that I just set up. So I'll go to Music, Traction, Projects. We'll just start with the first one and open it. Now, when you click on an archive, Traction will unpack that archive into a project folder. Right here, it's asked me where do I want to put that? Well, I want to put it into the Traction Projects folder and I'll click Open. And it unpacks it and now it appears here in Active Projects. You can think of this Active Projects list sort of like recent projects. Everything you open will stay there essentially until you close it. Now I'm going to minimize traction and show you what happened with the files. You'll see here's the projects folder and now here is a two bits. This is the name of the actual project and within this we've got some other files which I'll talk about later. And then the archive we've now completed that so we could actually remove that from our system if we want. I just deleted it. Now another way to do this is to just double click directly on these files within your file system. So I'll just do that here. Now the same thing happens. It's actually asking me to choose a folder where to put this. So I'm gonna to navigate to my music folder, Traction, Projects, and we'll put this one there as well and delete it. And then we'll do the same thing with the last one. And delete the archive. Now back in Traction on the Projects tab, under Active Projects, you see all of the demo projects that we just opened. If we click on any of these over on the right, you'll see all of the media that makes up that project and you'll also see an edit. An edit is essentially an arrangement of the song. So you can kind of think of it, it is the song. If we double click on that, it will actually open the song so that we can do all of our recording and editing. I'll just give you an example. We'll just pick this one here. I'll double click it. And here you can see we've got all of the waveforms, clips, and everything about traction that we're gonna be covering in the later videos. Now, one thing is if your audio is set up. At this point, we should be able to play these projects by just hitting play. You can hear it a little bit. I'll just put the cursor here and click. So now we've got a strategy for organizing our files. We've got our demo songs installed. Now it's time to take a closer look at traction. We'll do that starting in the next video. Thanks for watching.